So good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much. I'm get, getting forward, looking forward to this presentation. We're going to talk about what we've done in the last, I would say, 60 to 90 days. Uh, we started off with a wonderful opportunity, a $35,000 grant from a, a, a anonymous donor who provided the grant to Ocean Habitat so we could purchase many reefs at a 50-50 discount. That was at least uh, 215. We actually sold more. Okay, so we're working on a deal to get the other couple um, held in there. So we just did, and believe it or not, we did it in less than 90 days. So we had our CSEQ residents step up and purchase these mini reefs at um, $165 or $169. And we're going to put in over 215 more mini, mini reefs in our canals. I'm grateful to this community for what they've done. Now, I would like, I'm going to have my team stand up for the first for a minute, just for a minute. So, Becky, I'd like you to stand up if you wouldn't mind. Mary Lee, I'd like you to stand up if you wouldn't mind. Phil, Dave, and Kent. And I, I would include their wives as well. <laughs> and they're laughing, but they know I call them enough that they should include their wives. Please so, come up, because we're going to get a picture of this team while you're still walking. Yeah. Come on over here. Yeah. I mean, you have to work with this. I mean, think quite something else. Uh, one thing I told you, we have it come from behind the computer. Wait, 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 I hear you're getting a mini reef today. We are. We're super excited about it. Um, we're excited to see more life in the canals. And we're um, hopefully we see more dolphins and manatees. Um, yeah, we're just excited to see what it brings. All right, go mini reef. <laughs> This house is getting six mini reefs. Six. So this is our installation of a mini reef. This is Dave, right? Yeah. Dave is in the canal, in the water, standing up. And he's gonna strap these under this deck. They'll be out of sight, out of mind, and they won't interrupt any boat flow. And they will attract tons of new little fish and water cleaning friendly oysters and, and whatnot. And here they go into the water. And that's it. Out of the way. I'm not I'm not gonna interfere with anybody's lifestyle.
term citizen scientist, um, and we, we're serious about that. None of us are marine biologists or chemical engineers, as was mentioned before. Um, we are learning from others like Dave. We're learning from Moat, the Moat Lab. We're learning from other organizations and, and similar civic groups that are, are doing the same thing. Um, so I think that's an, one important point that I, that I would want to make. Um, it, the, the core group has been really on the science side, uh, citizen science side, has been Phil, uh, Kent, and myself. But uh, as, as Jean also mentioned, and on the slide, we've been really successful in getting great volunteers uh, to join our team. Becky's been great on the video monitoring. Susan, Catherine, we have others as well. Um, we have already started a monthly testing process in two of our four zones in the Grand Canal. Um, uh, we'll be doing that through the summer. Um, and what we do is we have selected sites and we do the water testing and video monitoring. Um, uh, our goal is in the fall that we will be expanding to the other two zones in the site and uh, really even adding more testing locations. But we're kind of starting working our way up with our volunteers and, and our training. What are you um, testing for? Yeah, I'm gonna show you. That's the next slide. Um, I, I, um, there's a there's there's two two types of measurements. One is, and I'll show you the equipment in the next slide. Um, uh, a, a number of measures, really particularly the third column here, lists the uh, the, the technical measures that are that are uh, coming off of the equipment: salinity, turbidity, pH levels, dissolved oxygen is a very important one. Um, there are two important ones that we are not currently measuring. Uh, Dave talked a lot about nitrogen and nitrates. Uh, we don't have the equipment uh, at this time that measures that or also same with chlorophyll. So we're hoping to uh, be able to eventually add those to our testing. But we're going to be getting a lot of good information uh, from these measure measures as well. Uh, maybe we'll go to the next one. On the left side, we're trying to give a little few pictures to give you a feel for the water testing. This is the equipment. There's uh, put right directly into the water when we make the measurements. Uh, there's actually two types of equipment. Um, and you get readings off of the equipment, which is fed into uh, a great uh, database that Kent uh, has developed and is main maintaining that. Um, so over time, as we're collecting this information monthly, uh, uh, eventually quarterly. Uh, we'd love to be able to get to out, to out collecting data after major rain events uh, as well. So we will be assembling a really good time series of data. Uh, here's just one example of the types of graphs that can be produced. But that data will be able to show, uh, similar to what Dave, sh Dave showed, uh, the changes in the data in, in these measurements uh, over time uh, and we can do that at selected docks. We can do that in the zones that we have created. We can do that for the entire canal system. So we're just really beginning, but we will, I think, have a wealth of information that we can add. And our goal is to have that information feed into the state of Florida uh, water atlas uh, as well. Uh, you know what, you don't mind going back real quick, and I know we, we have time. Just want to do want to just point out the, the, the last slide, the third slide. Okay. Uh, the right hand side is on the video monitoring, because while the data is important, uh, really the, the the graphic ability to be able to see what is happening around the mini reefs is probably the most effective visual, uh, obviously. And you heard that they heard that noise. That was a total shock to me. Uh, uh, that, that, that that was even happening underneath my dock. Um, uh, uh, and again, we have great staff and Becky and Phil has been leading the, the way on that. Uh, so at the same time we're doing the water testing, we are taking these video monitoring under the docks on a monthly basis. And again, on, as, we, as we move along, we'll be able to track the volume of fish activity and other marine life activity uh, over again, time series data uh, uh, as we as we continue to build up this database. So that's the last thing I think I want to okay. point out. To that. I just want to point out that what you said was the fact that we not only are taking the testing and, and record, um, reporting, but we're also doing the video, video monitoring. So we're going to have with each of these monthly reviews a small video that goes along with it. 
so we can in fact see over time how things are changing and we'll be able to report over time what we see and we'll be able to compare the different segments of the canal as well that's really quite critical and using the digital tools allows it finally i've got to make sure i say something about phil phil is my partner he is without him i couldn't get in i can't get in the water so whenever i have a problem with phil <laughs> so Bill comes over and gets in the water and takes care of something that's broken. He always is wonderful like that. But more importantly, he also gives me, he's been the lead in all of our, our video and setting it up. So I don't, I just, I just consider him to be my right hand. So I never say anything. Bill is wonderful. So thank you very much for your work.